Wacky Wednesday. From semi-developed duck embryo boiled alive to bull testicles and pancakes made from blood, we count 20 of the most disgusting foods that people actually eat. Number 20. Bullet. A developed duck embryo boiled alive and eaten in its egg. It's really common in Southwest Asia and often served with a beer. Eggs are a common food throughout the world, but obviously in the Philippines, they take it one step further by taking a developing duck embryo and then boiling it alive while still in the shell. Also, typically eaten with a little seasoning of chili, garlic and vinegar. All the contents of the egg are consumed including the visible wings and beak. Number 19. Kazu Mazu also known as rotten cheese, a traditional sheep milk cheese from Italy. The cheese makers set the cheese outside and allow the cheese flies to lay eggs inside of it. The larvae break down the cheese fats and ferment it, and some people even leave the white worms in the cheese when they consume it. This type of cheese was banned for years and only sold on the black market. But years ago, it was declared a traditional food and now it's legal to produce and sell them again. Number 18. Insects and Worms These deep fried insects and worms are often eaten in Bangkok, Thailand. Human insect eating is common to cultures in most parts of the world including North, Central and South America, Africa and Asia. Some of the insects include bamboo worms, moths, crickets, scorpions and giant water beetles. Insect eating is rare in the developed world today, but insects remain a popular food in many developing regions of Latin America, Africa and Asia. Number 17. Kiviak. Kiviak is a traditional wintertime food from Greenland. It's made of orcs, a similar bird to the penguin, and preserved in the hollowed out body of a seal. The recipe is really simple. Put 300 to 500 orcs into the hollowed out body cavity of a seal and press out as much air as possible. Then cover the seal with a large rock pile for 3 to 18 months and eat the orcs raw. The birds then ferment and are eaten during the winter time. Number 16. Thousand year old egg. From China and made by preserving eggs in a mixture of ash, salt, quicklime, rice hulls and clay for several weeks or months. Through the process, the yolk becomes a dark green to grey colour with a creamy consistency and odour of sulphur and ammonia while the white becomes a dark brown translucent jelly with salty or little flavour. It's said that first time eaters voluntary gag. Number 15 Fried spider, also called a ping, is a regional delicacy in Cambodia. The vending of fried spiders as a specialty snack is a popular attraction for tourists. The spiders are bred in holes in the ground in nearby villages and fried in oil. It's not clear how this practice started, but some have suggested that the population might have started eating spiders out of desperation years ago when food was in short supply. Number 14. Smolohov, a traditional smoked or dried Norwegian dish made from sheep's head eaten before Christmas. The skin and fleece of the head is torched, the brain removed and the head salted, sometimes smoked and dried. The head is boiled or steamed for about 3 hours and then served with mashed potatoes. Originally, smalahov was typically eaten by the poor, although today it's considered a delicacy. Mmm hmm. Number 13. Escamole. Also known as ant larvae, it may look like grain salad, but this dish is actually made up of ant larvae. Also called insect caviar, escamoles are considered a delicacy in Mexican cuisine, and consumption dates back to the Aztecs. Eggs are harvested from the root systems of agave plants, and the tiny larvae can be found in tacos, omelettes, or just on their own. Number 12. Baby Mice Wine. In Korea and technically a food, what better way to wash down your lumps of raw fish than with a nice chilled cup of dead mice? Baby mice wine is a traditional Chinese and Korean health tonic which apparently tastes like raw gasoline. Little mice, eyes still closed and plucked from their loving mothers, are stuffed while still alive into a bottle of rice wine. What the f- Number 11. Sanakji 
This is a raw Korean dish that consists of live octopus with sesame and sesame street oil. It looks safe, but the little tentacles may choke you to death if they get stuck to your throat. A South Korean delicacy, this dish of live octopus is eaten either whole or in pieces, depending on the size of the specimen. Served raw and usually only with a splash of sesame oil, it's so fresh that the tentacles are still squirming. The suckers on the octopus can attach themselves inside the throat of the customer, often causing choking or even death. Number 10 Tuna Eyeball from Japan Tuna eye can be found staring up at you in most Japanese food stores. The tuna eyes themselves are quite large and are sold by the pound. They are typically served fried and eaten with white rice and soya sauce. And apparently when you bite into the tuna eyeball, it explodes with enough fluids to cover half your face. Number 9. Durian Nicknamed the king of fruits with edible but bad smelling flesh, it's been banned in some hotels and public transport vehicles in Southeast Asia. Why, you may ask? The edible flesh emits a distinctive odour that is strong and penetrating even when the husk is intact. Some people regard the fruit as having a pleasant sweet smell, while others find the aroma overpowering and revolting. The smell has been described as something similar to rotten onions and raw sewage. Number 8. Iki Zakuri. This is basically fish served while it's still alive. The chef fillet it without killing the animal and serve it on a plate, its sliced flesh and heart still beating. Having been banned in several countries including Germany and Australia, Iki Zakuri literally means prepared alive and it delivers on everything the name implies, and explicitly states you can even choose your own fish for the kill. Number 7. Blood Platter Swedish for blood pancakes. It's made of pork blood, milk, flour, dark molasses, onion, and butter. Blood platter or blood pancakes are a dish served in Finland and Sweden. It's similar to black pudding, although it's thinner and more crispier, and is often cooked in a frying pan. And the pancakes are usually served with pork or reindeer meat. Number 6. Coxcombs. This is the fleshy growth on top of a chicken's head. It might not strike you as a supper ingredient, but in Italy, they're a crucial aspect of a famous cooking sauce. They also have a place in French gastronomic history, and are often used by French and Italian chefs to garnish various poultry dishes. They claim the coxcomb to be very tasty, but chewy. Number 5. Hakao. This is fermented and dried for 4-5 to five months Greenland shark or sleeper shark. Rotten shark may sound disgusting, but if the Greenland shark were eaten in its fresh form, it would be poisonous. By allowing the shark to ferment and decay, it becomes edible. That is, if the person eating it can get past the ammonia smell and fishy taste. Most first time diners usually gag, and it's recommended that the fish be chased down with a shot of hard liquor. Number 4. Bull's Penis Yes, this is something people actually eat. In China, it's a traditional aphrodisiac for obvious reasons, and is also eaten in various parts of the Far East. It was revealed a few years back that China's Olympic athletes even requested bull penis soup on their weekly menus. Whether or not this contributes to their haul of metals every Olympics, we'll never know. Although it's fair to say we don't expect to see this on our local shelves anytime soon. Number 3. Mongolian Budok This is a marmot or goat cooked within its own skin with hot stones in the stomach. Budog is a traditional Mongolian meat dish which is very popular in camping and outdoor activities. Although it's not a dish for two and should be made for at least five people. Meat cut in large chunks is cooked with hot stones in a tightly closed aluminum can until it forms a hearty stew. Number 2. Prairie Oysters These are not actually oysters at all. This delightful dish is made from bull testicles and also goes by the name Rocky Mountain Oysters. Found throughout cattle ranching country, curious eaters wanting to try the Canadian version are advised to head to Alberta. Prepared sautéed, fried or stuffed, 
The testicles are accompanied by herbs, spices, sauce and dips for a real taste of cowboy cuisine. Number 1. Haggis. This is considered Scotland's national dish and includes sheep's heart, liver, lungs, onion, oatmeal, spices and stock and traditionally stuffed into a sheep's stomach and simmered. Typically eaten with mashed potatoes and turnips and is often served with scotch whiskey. Today, haggis is conveniently available ready made from the grocery store and is a great source of iron and fibre. Although, would anyone outside of Scotland actually eat this? 